So like 500 miles ago, we had just put a new clutch, throw-out bearing, pivot ball stud, uh, everything in this black Mach 1, and he was having trouble with a noise it was making. It was like shifting weird. So he bought an adjustable clutch cable for it, and, you know, we couldn't imagine anything was wrong with it because we had just done this job, and uh, we went to route the new cable through, and the clutch fork wouldn't even reach to it, like hardly at all. And so we looked up in there, and we noticed that the clutch looked like the pressure plate had metal like grinding off of it the paint was missing on the center there of the pressure plate and you know throwout bearing looked good everything else looked good but we couldn't figure out why it was having some kind of metal contact in there so i took a video and i could see sparks flying. And at first, the clutch fork didn't really want to move, and so we were hoping it wasn't the input shaft or the sleeve, the retainer sleeve or something. But regardless, we're going to have to pull this transmission off again now. Always fun when that happens, right? <laughs> Throw-out bearing looked good, though. Everything was on. Had a new fork in it. Had new everything in there. So we just couldn't figure out how this was happening. So... So we got right to work, got the car up in the air, and got it on the crates, pulled the transmission off. Let's see, in here is the problem. That stud's backed out halfway, which is what my brother um, recommended. He said it, um, it's probably the pivot ball stud length is wrong, and in this case it is, because the, it's backing out. There you have it. It was making the fork contact, but everything else looked good. I inspected the diaphragm fingers, pilot bearing, everything... It's actually a pilot bushing, a solid one from McLeod. Everything looked really good other than that, and everything else was fine. And so uh, luckily it was basically like the job of just doing a new throwout bearing, pull the transmission off, and he did buy a brand new throwout bearing, and the rest of the damage looked like it was just cosmetic, just a little bit of metal ground off there. Everything else was straight and nice, and so um, that was really unfortunate, but it was all just that that pivot ball stud which we replaced must not have been torqued down or didn't have any loctite on it and so we put some loctite on it this time and so i inspected everything in here made sure that everything else looked okay and it did everything looked just fine the the uh, transmission felt good the input shaft felt good the pivot ball stud didn't look bad we just cleaned it up a little bit after this but you can see it, it looked fine and uh, the threads looked really good on it. The clutch fork seemed to be okay. It just had a little bit of cosmetic damage on there. Nothing that's going to cause any trouble. Throwout bearing actually still was fine. It spun okay, but it did make a little bit of chirping. And the, these things burn up quick, so there's no point in not replacing it, even though it was brand new. Uh, just It sounded good when I rotated it, but we just thought, let's put a new one on there just in case it got burned up in all of this and stuff so um but you know that came out nicely they had a little uh, transmission jack that helped out a lot but um here again just a little cosmetic damage on this side of it that's not going to touch anything the ball pot part looked good i cleaned it out with some scotch bright and everything but you know the bearing still felt all right it, it really wasn't too bad but obviously we're going to replace it because that's just the way to go don't want to do this again so i cleaned all this up you can see some of the paint from the um from the pressure plate on there but the grease looked good it was still greased nicely and the sleeve wasn't cracked or broken or anything you can see a little bit of where things were touching in there but i brought my yellow mock one over worked on it a little bit came back got the ball all cleaned up that looks nice that's ready to go back on and we put a generous offering of RTV 
in there. I clean the surface of the retainer sleeve and just kind of scotch brighted it and got it cleaned up and inspected it. It looked good. It was solid. I put a lot of grease on it, you know, grease where you're supposed to put on the fork and everything, tons of Loctite on that pivot ball stud, and then it just was really smooth again. Then came the fun part of bench pressing this thing back up into the place. We used the transmission jack. The angle was hard on this jack. It doesn't rotate and pivot like we would like it to, but we got it all on there and everything back together. New fluid in there, reused it, caught it in a bucket and stuff. Anyway, you live and you learn, so we learned a lesson there, and that's what that noise is. And hopefully that helps somebody along the way if they have a similar noise. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for more Mustang content.